It's the best of Motown. Catch Got Soul with Jeff Newman. Thursday nights at 6 on the Music Education Station. KCHW 102.7. That is us, Northern Lights Public Radio. We are looking at 805. Kind of weird to come on after a recording of you talking, but I decided to do it anyways. Uh, running behind this morning, all morning, and I did promise that uh, I would do a little lesson on how to talk like a pirate because, well, today is Talk Like a Pirate Day. Now, I do have some pirate music, all right, and some examples of being a good pirate before we get into the words. Now, uh, one of the first, uh, I guess, like one of my favorite uh, pirate songs. Oh, I lost it. I'm going to have to dig that one up because I just downloaded it. Um, is from the theme from SpongeBob because uh, it's very piratey, and uh, I think it'll definitely make you uh, feel like a pirate. So uh, here we go uh, from SpongeBob. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You're a hard Being a pirate is a wretched thing. Now, the first thing you need to know about pirates is they like to have fun. Really bad eggs. Yes, and you like really bad eggs. All right, and then uh, most people would say, uh, most popular pirate, best pirate, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. But I disagree. I think it's Captain Barbosa. You're off the edge of the map, mate. Here, there'd be monsters. Your return to shore was not part of our negotiations nor our agreement, so I must do nothing. And secondly, you must be a pirate for the pirate's code to apply, and you're not. And thirdly... The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. Welcome aboard the Black Pearl, Miss Turner. Miss Turner. All right, so the big thing about being a pirate, and it's I wouldn't recommend doing this while you're driving, because to get ready for it, I, <clears throat> I had to gargle with coffee. All right, so I'll give the word in my best pirate voice and then uh, tell you what it means. Of course, the most important pirate word you need, I do it all the time, even when I'm, it's not pirate day, the arg. So stop what you're doing and listen up, you dirty pirate. That's what it means. Attention, please. Arg. All right, and can be used for anything, too, good or bad. Example, arg, what a lovely day. Or, I don't like that, arg. Uh-huh. All right, so, avast. All right. You just kind of throw that in. You can use it for anything. Avast, listen up, you scurvy scallywag. See, works pretty easy. Now, belay. That's easy. Stop that. Uh, some people don't know grog, though. A grog is a pirate's favorite drink. And then you have har. A pirate laugh. Har, 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 har. Uh, Jack is a, a flag or a sailor, so Jack. And then lass. We all know what last is. Uh, one thing that confuses a lot of pirates is the word list. They think they need to get out to pencil, but actually that's just when the ship be leaning to one side. And then sometimes all the pirates be loaded to the gunwales, which means, well, we're drunk. And then scallywag, do you know what that means? It's a bad person, a scoundrel. Uh, one word that I had to learn this week was sprogs. That's raw, untrained recruits. They're just sprogs. And then finally, to boot. All right? Example, I'll have a burger and fries to boot. See, you can do that on Pirate Day today. It'll be real easy. Uh huh. I'll have the burger and also the fries to boot. Yeah, maybe not. I just kick with grog today. That's right. It's a pirate's favorite drink. Now, more pirate music, you say, Scott. Please, please. We didn't have enough. I'm sorry. For this song, we travel to Seattle, Washington, a band called Abney Park. They dress really funny. They play music called Steampunk. Steampunk. And this one is Airship Pirates. Arrgh. Thank you. 